Let's have the last example. Find k so that the terms k minus 3, k plus 1, and 4k minus 2 form a geometric sequence. Alright, so we are to solve for the value of k. Alright, but we are given of the following. We are given of the a sub 1, which is equal to k minus 3. We are also given of the a sub n, or the last term, which is 4k minus 2. And we're also given of the n. n is the number of terms, and so there are three terms here. And of course, we're also given of the ratio r equals k plus 1 over k minus 3. Or you may also use uh, 4k minus 2 over k plus 1. It will yield the same result. Alright. And so we're going to substitute these values into the formula a sub n. a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Alright. So let's start. Solving for... Okay. All right. So let's have a sub n equals a sub one times r raised to n minus one. All right. So we are given of the a sub n, which is four k minus two, and we're given of the a sub one, which is k minus three times the r, okay, which is k plus one over k minus 3 raised to 3 minus 1 okay so simplifying this further this will give us 4k minus 2 equals k minus 3 times k plus 1 over k minus 3 squared all right so we can simplify this further. So this will be 4k minus 2 equals k minus 3, right? So this will be k plus 1 squared over k minus 3 squared. All right. So if you notice, we can cancel out 1k minus 3 here, okay? So, that will give us 4k minus 2 equals k plus 1 squared, right? So, this is squared over k minus 3, alright? So, we can multiply both sides by uh, k minus 3, okay? So let's have it here. So we will have, uh, let's change the color, k minus 3 times 4k minus 2. And we have here k plus 1 squared over k minus 3 times k minus 3 all right so we can actually cancel this so this will give us let's uh, multiply k times uh, 4k that will give us uh, 4k squared minus and if you're going to multiply k to the negative 2 that will give us negative 2k this will give us uh, negative 12k plus 6 right and in here what is left here is k plus 1 squared and k plus 1 uh, plus 1 squared is simply k squared plus 2k 
plus 1. Alright? Now, let's try to combine like terms. So, we will have 4k squared minus k squared. Alright? We transpose this to the left side. And we will have here minus 2k minus 12k minus 2k. Alright? This one, we transpose this to the left side. So, this is it. And we have plus 6 and transpose 1 to the left side that will be minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so 4k squared minus k squared that will give us 3k squared. And we have here negative 2 minus 12 is negative uh, 14 minus 2 that will give us negative 16. Okay, and this one is plus 5 equals 0. Alright, so factoring this one equals 0. So we have here 3k and we have here k and we can have here minus 5 and we can have here minus 1. Alright, so if we're going to uh, multiply these two again, it should be the result should be this one. Okay. So, simplifying this, this will give us 3k minus 1 equals 0. And this one will be k minus 5 equals 0. And so, solving for k, 3k minus 1, uh, this will be 3k equals 1. Or simply, k is equal to 1 third. Alright? While here, k is simply equal to 5. So, this means that there are two... Uh, sequences here, geometric sequences here. Alright? So, let's have here if k is equal to one-third. Alright? So, let's have here uh, k minus uh, what's the other one? It should be uh, k minus 3 and k plus 1. k minus 3 k plus 1 and 4k minus 2 okay so this will be 1 third minus 3 and that is simply uh, 1 minus 9 over 3 or negative 8 over 3 for k plus 1 that will give us 1 over 3 plus 1 or that is simply 1 plus 3 over 3 or 4 thirds and for 4k minus 2 4 times 1 third minus 2 so this is simply uh, 4 thirds minus 2 or this is uh, 4 minus 6 over 3 and that is negative two thirds. So the first sequence is negative eight over three, four over three, and the last one is negative two thirds. Now, how would you know that uh, these are actually, or this set of uh, numbers form a geometric sequence? Well, you simply have to check whether there is a common ratio uh, between each term, okay? So, R is A sub 2 over A sub 1. So, if we're going to have negative 8 over 3 over, oh, it's it should be, uh, if we have 4 thirds, over negative 8 over 3 this will give us 4 thirds times negative 3 over 8 or okay negative this is simply 4 over negative 8 that is negative 1 half negative 1 half okay 
if we're going to have here um, r equals a sub 3 over a sub 2 so this will give us negative 2 thirds let's change the color uh, negative 2 thirds 2 thirds over 4 over 3 and that will give us negative 2 thirds times 3 fourths okay so this will be cancelled so negative 2 over 4 that is simply negative 1 half so there is a common ratio which is negative one half so therefore this is a geometric sequence now if k is equal to 5 then k minus 3 is simply 5 minus 3 equals 2 and for k plus 1 that is simply 5 plus 1 equals 6 and for 4k minus 2 that will give us 4 times 5 minus 2 and that is 20 minus 2 equals 18 all right so uh the other sequence geometric sequence is 2 3 and uh, 2 3 and 2 6 and 18 so 2 6 and 18 so this is the other geometric sequence and then again if you can if you would like to check whether this is a, ge this is a geometric sequence you simply look for the common ratio so a sub 2 over a sub 1 equals a sub 3 over a sub 2 you can actually do it this way to check for the common ratio so this is um, 6 over 2 and this is 18 over 6 6 over 2 is 3 18 over 6 is 3 so there is a common ratio and that is okay a common ratio and that is 3 therefore our answers are correct